Well, maybe for you guys. But I mean, there isn't gonna be anything that's gonna make facing school without Oscar any better. I know it's not the same we, we didn't love Oscar. Not that I didn't see it, because he was real cute and real smart. Okay, we get it. He's pretty much the whole package. My point is, is that I, even I'm gonna miss Oscar being around school and I didn't even like him. Get out. You loved him like a brother. Yeah, you know, sure. But... Okay, so hold on. I thought you were into death. I was. Okay, so that's what happened. Nothing good. I tried to kiss him at the Halloween dance and he gave me a polite thanks, but no thanks. Okay, so this is crazy. Okay, there are like five people on my team who would kill to go out with you. Really? Yeah, can you blame them? You're smart, you're cool, you're funny, you're sweet. That's kind of an idiot, okay? Thanks. Trina, it was so embarrassing, okay? I kissed Dev and then he turned me down. Welcome to the club. You think I should go back and face my mom? Doesn't have to be today, but yeah, I think you'll feel better if you do. Really? Because the thought of it just makes me feel sick. Well, I didn't say it was gonna be easy. I, I wasn't strong enough to do it when my dad apologized to me. But uh, you're smarter than I am. <laughs> you'll be able to salvage your relationship with your mom. I'll think about it. Good. <clears throat> And for what it's worth, you seem pretty smart to me. Thanks, Spencer. Anytime. Esme's making her room around. I want you both to feel comfortable here. Oh, don't worry. Esme's comfortable wherever she goes. Well, that's an admirable trait. Glad to get to know more about the girl who's captured my son's heart. Esme is the coolest. She's beautiful and smart. She tells it like it is. I never connected with anyone the way I connected with Esme. Esme sounds very special. It's good to have someone like her in your corner. That she is. Esme's the best. It's okay, Trine. Really. I only brought it up because, uh, I don't want there to be any awkwardness between us. Why do you care if there's awkwardness between us? Why are you going out of your way to be so nice to someone you think likes your boyfriend? Because... You didn't do anything wrong. I mean, Spencer didn't even tell you he had a girlfriend. And that doesn't make you mad? You know how guys are. I mean, they're denser than a redwood forest, and Spence is no exception. I'm sure he didn't mean to lead you on. I'm not into girl-on-girl -girl rivalry. <laughs> do you walk on water, too? <laughs> I love your sense of humor. Safe now. That's great, Esme. I call it a tragic waste of cement. Despite myself, I've kind of gotten to like him. Trina and I were good friends. Was that all? Because before I met Esme, I thought the two you were heading towards something. Okay, sure. There was an attraction, a spark. Trina's beautiful, smart, direct. And she's just a good person. You know, one of those people who genuinely wants to do the right thing without being too preachy. Why wouldn't I like her? But it can't go anywhere. Esme's my person. <laughs> I was so nervous about coming to Spence's hometown, afraid I wouldn't make a single friend. Imagine how happy I was to meet you, Trina. I mean, you're smart, you're down to earth, you love art just as much as I do. All the girls at boarding school were so fake and superficial. And here you were, the exact opposite, so authentic and evolved. I totally fell for it. I had no idea you were setting me up, but here you were spinning wild conspiracy theories about me and why. The only explanation is that you want Spence for yourself. There. I finally said it. Just me. I've changed. I don't know who I am anymore. I know who you are. And who's that? You're the girl who likes classic sitcoms. And, um, books about guerrilla feminist artists you're the same trina who mocks my love of ginger snaps <laughs> and who won't rat me out when she's on the stand even though her freedom is on the line you're blunt good god you're blunt but you're big-hearted you're fair and you're forgiving
You improve the life of everyone who knows you, Trina. You're the one who always told me that who I am is about a lot more than just my last name, my DNA. So whoever's child you are, Trina Robinson, you're the sweetest, smartest, and bravest person who I know. Joss really cares about Dex. I don't think he's going anywhere. I just don't understand what Joss sees in him. Because they're complete opposites. That relationship is going nowhere. Well, sometimes complete opposites make the best couple. Spencer, you can't put logic around love. The heart wants what it wants. Yes, it does. Admit it, Dex. You have no future with this girl. Joss is smart and motivated, and she's going places. She wants to be a doctor. How? You have to ask. Think hard, Joss. Real hard. I need to keep an eye on what I want out of life. What's most important to me? Do you know? Honestly, I'm not sure. I am. You deserve to be happy, Spencer. You make me very happy. And the only thing that I know for sure is that I want you in my life. Hmm. Well, that's a relief. Because I have no plans of going anywhere. Remember, whatever happens, you're not alone. I'll make sure of that. Then we're all in agreement. Trina comes first. Always. <laughs> <laughs>